Well, good morning. This morning our scripture is found in John chapter 10, verse 27, and it goes like this. My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. Well, back the day before Thanksgiving last year, uh, I'd went with my sons out to a uh, uh, shooting range. And uh, during the, the, the range uh, activity, I lost all, most all of my hearing. Uh, I think they said that about 90% of it's gone. And, uh, boy, I'll tell you what, now that'll, that'll put you in the dark area. You just uh, couldn't hear nothing. And uh, that, that was uh, probably one of the uh, top ten worst days of my life. Uh, I'll put it right up there next to when my wife passed away. That's how dark it got for me. But I went to the doctor, and they did some experiments on me, and and uh, the experiments didn't work. And they, uh, they told me I need to go get me some hearing aids. So uh, I went and got me some hearing aids, and uh, these uh, uh, little rascals, they, uh, they help a bunch. And uh, I can hear things that I couldn't hear before. And, uh, in fact, uh, they hook up to my cell phone so that if you call me, well, it goes straight into my ears and, uh, and it's amplified on top of that. So I can understand, uh, what you're saying when you call me on my cell phone. And I also, uh, listen to music off my cell phone that way too. And, and because uh, music's always been a big part of my my life, most all of my life, and uh, so it's it's um, it's pretty amazing. Now these hearing aids requires batteries. These little batteries. About every five to six days, I gotta put new batteries in because they beep at me and tell me beep beep, and that means it's fixed to go away. And <laughs> So I have to stick them batteries in there. In fact, I had to put some in this morning. And, uh, you know, I got to thinking about that. Many times, you know, we go through what I call a spiritual drought. And we don't hear from God. And, uh, you know, we we just, uh, we, we pray and, and it just seems like the, the heavens are closed. And, and uh, our prayers are not making it to the Lord. Well, folks, just like my hearing aids, we have to charge the batteries in our spiritual prayers. And uh, you may think that's funny, but that's, that's what you got to do. And that's, we hide the Word of God in our heart. And uh, this uh, is nothing but truth. And uh, it's, it's not a story book or nothing like that, although it has some wonderful stories in it. This is the truth. And we need to read this daily and, and uh, study the Word of God and let it speak to us. And then you'll start hearing that small, still voice as you're going about. When you have questions comes up about how do I need to handle this? How do I need to handle that? That still, small voice, you'll hear it in your heart. Nobody else will hear it but you. But you read the Word and you continue to pray and let God speak to you and direct your steps. And he will. He will. He will direct your steps. And when you fall, he'll help you get back up. But we got to be read up and prayed up, folks. Just like my hearing aids, it takes some, takes some doing. You know, you got to, I got to keep them clean. 
I've got to put new batteries in them so that I can hear others. And we need to do the same thing with God. And he will speak to you. And I hope that this encourages you today to read the word of God and pray and let him get your spirit, spiritual hearing aids all charged up and ready to go. May God richly bless you. I love you, but better yet, Jesus loves you. And he died on the cross first. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.